Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to take a look at a recent study that asked the question, can a low carb diet cause type 2 diabetes to go into remission? Let's get into the video. Research has indicated that losing weight by cutting calories can cause type 2 diabetes to remit, which involves a restoration of blood glucose, sugar, levels to pre-diabetic levels without the use of medication. According to a recent primary care-based cohort research, approximately 97% of type 2 diabetes sufferers who switched to a low-carb diet saw improvements in blood glucose control. On a low-carbohydrate diet, about 51% of people with type 2 diabetes were able to achieve remission. People who had been diagnosed with the disease during the preceding year were more likely to succeed than people who had had it for a longer period of time. These results imply that a low-carbohydrate diet may be an effective non-pharmacological option for type 2 diabetics to achieve good glycemic control and possibly remission. A new study in BMJ Nutrition, Prevention and Health demonstrated that persons with type 2 diabetes can achieve glycemic control with a low-carb diet. Additionally, more than half of the patients who followed the low-carbohydrate diet went into remission from type 2 diabetes, allowing them to finally quit taking medication. According to Dr. David Unwin of Norwood Surgery in the United Kingdom, the study's author, 77% of those who used a low-carb diet throughout the first year of their type 2 diabetes were able to achieve remission. This gives an extremely significant window of opportunity for additional research. The findings are very significant given the fact that many patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus would like to eventually come off of their medications, said Dr. Ari Ekman, an endocrinologist and the medical director of endocrinology services at Holy Name Medical Center in Teaneck, New Jersey, who was not involved in the study. The BMJ article provides a template for how many people were successful in controlling their diabetes with food alone, the author continued. In the future, it will be interesting to observe, hopefully, how this diet might be included with our own patients to manage and control their diabetes. A return to pre-diabetic Hubble 1C and blood glucose levels in the absence of medication use for at least 3 months, or below 48 millimoles per mole, mole per mole, or 6.5%, is referred to as such a remission of diabetes. It is important to keep in mind that diabetes remission does not mean the ailment is healed and that blood glucose levels may return to those seen in people with diabetes. A considerable proportion of people exhibit poor glycemic control despite the fact that there are an increasing number of drugs that can aid with blood sugar control. Type 2 diabetics may be able to achieve remission by adopting a healthy diet, but there is inconsistent information regarding the efficacy of the various diets. One diet strategy for weight loss is consuming fewer carbohydrates. Restricting the consumption of foods that are rich in sugar, those that cause a spike in blood glucose levels, is a key component of a low-carbohydrate diet. In particular, such a diet encourages the consumption of green leafy vegetables, fish, meat, nuts, and fruits while restricting the intake of carbohydrates like bread, rice, and potatoes. A low-carb diet may help persons with type 2 diabetes achieve remission in the short term, according to the study. In order to further explore whether a low-carbohydrate diet can cause remission in type 2 diabetes patients, the authors of the current study analyzed clinical data gathered from their primary care clinic in the United Kingdom over the preceding 8 years. We really hope that you found this material to be useful. If you are presently receiving medical care, don't forget to see your doctor before beginning a ketogenic diet. Thanks for stopping by. We would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. Bye for now.